I'd like to thank everyone who have been supporting us all the last three months. Whether it's physically coming here or sharing their knowledge, their experience or their resources. Whether locally or from internationally. I would also like to thank the silent supporters, the grandparents who have been at home taking care of the grandchildren so that the parents can come and support this Aragale. I would like to thank the women who have been taking care of the in-laws, the parents, the children doing all the care work so that the men can come and protest or vice versa. Let's not forget these silent supporters. Without their help, we will not be able to achieve this victory. And no, we haven't achieved the victory yet. We are near the first milestone. The, resi the resignations are not confirmed yet. Yet we see the current Prime Minister, Mr. Rikula Singer, who has been talking that he is pro-democracy, yet he has repeatedly failed to show through action that he respects democracy. He has now started a narrative warfare. A narrative warfare. He's labeling these protesters as fascists. I would like to remind him and anyone else who's supporting that narrative warfare, that is incorrect. We the protesters, we stand for love. We stand for compassion. We stand for empathy. We stand for accountability, respectfulness, and above all, and above all, we stand for hope. We stand for hope. All of us have collectively given each other hope. When these people, the Rajapaksa cartel and their supporters, whether the wealthy business people or the news media institutions or other organizations, domestic and international, who have been supporting the Rajapaksa cartel and this government. We have shown them, you can try stealing our hope, but we are not going to give it away. We are hopeful for a better country. We are hopeful that we can unite this country. They have been collectively dividing us based on our race, our gender, our sexual orientations, our faiths, religion, the languages we speak, they have been continuously trying to divide us. Now up to a certain extent we have shown that we can overcome those things. But we are not naive to believe that we have eradicated racism or sexism or all the other isms. It's a continuous struggle. This Aragale is a living organism. We are here to remind each other that we are all Sri Lankans. That we are all Sri Lankans. No matter what they try to do, we are here to remind them we do not have rubber in our backbones. These are made out of steel. Our backbones are made out of steel. And we are not afraid. We don't want to die but we are not afraid to die. So with that, I want to make sure all the international media get this. We stand for peaceful protest. That is our right. We stand for love. Love for this country. Not like Mr. Vikram uh, Singh's love for power and love for that presidency. Thank you all for coming here. We will continue this struggle. We will continue to make sure that we achieve a country that we can be collectively proud of. Till then, we will be continuing this peaceful protest. 
because this entire protest has been fueled by love, driven by hope. Thank you. Arigatou! 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 Thanks.